Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. Today, I wanted to talk about data. More specifically, the data you can find using Pretty Merch. So here I am on Merch by Amazon. I have, I'm on the Pretty Merch tab, and you can see a lot of this um, data that you have here. Um, today's sales and what sold recently. If you dig down into some of these other buttons here, there's even more data. So I'm going to click on this all time view sales. And it's going to load here. And just let's take a look at some of these data points. So you'll notice here top products. So it goes over each of the products that Pretty Merch sells uh, standard, pullover, pop sockets, all of these, including um, tank tops, v necks. And raglans, but I didn't sell a raglan yet, so it, it's not posting it up on here. But I have sold a tank top and a v-neck recently, so it's posting those numbers. Uh, and these, again, this is all time. So you can see um, I've been on pretty much for about a year and a half, and I've sold mostly standard t-shirts, about 75%. And again, they mostly started with standard in the beginning. We didn't have some of these other ones, so it's going to take some time to catch up. But still, by far... Um, standard t-shirts are selling way more than anything else 75% and none of these are even 10% so you can see that that's really important there um, let's move on to top fit types so again we have men women youth unisex um, and just look at that men t-shirts for me uh, I sell more men t-shirts than women I kind of do both men and women t-shirts, uh, depending on the time and season. Of course, Father's Day, I sell more men's. Mother's Day, I sell more women's. But um, it's really close. You can see um, I do sell more men's t-shirts, though. So for me, if I was going to go back and, and do some designing, I would make sure that I, I design it on a standard t-shirt first and maybe try to do some, some men um, designs here. And for colors, let's look at the colors here. Um, black, white, dark heather, navy, heather gray, lemon, royal blue. If you just scroll over these, you can see all the different colors. I've, I've sold a bunch of other colors, including orange and oh, undefined. That must be one of the new colors um, that pretty much hasn't updated it with yet. So, but look at that black. Black has outsold I've done more sales in black than any other color by almost more than double the next one which is white so and some of the other top selling colors are right here so again um, if you're just starting off with merch and you don't have any of this data um, you could use mine I would say do a black shirts maybe some men um, designs and definitely put it on standard so those are some data points you can use there um, and again, what's really nice about Pretty Merch is they will show you uh, the things that have made the most sales. So you can kind of find this information in the Analyze tab. And let me let me close this. This Analyze tab here in Pretty Merch has that same kind of data, but it's not sorted correctly. When you go to Pretty Merch, they actually can sort it by sales. And so you can see which ones are your top sellers really quickly and what colors are your top um, colors for that product. So that's really neat. Um, so you can see here um, this design, which sold uh, my second best seller, is actually sells more for women. So you can see that. This design, my third, actually sells way more for men. So you can kind of see how that, that works here. Um, I wanted to show you one more thing that Pretty Merch does. Pretty Merch Pro actually has these tabs. I believe you can use those if you don't have the Pro version. This view sales is free, I believe, with uh, Pretty Merch. But Pretty Merch Pro, let me show you some of the interesting data points you can find here. So analytics. So right now, um, let me go today and hit analyze. Actually, that's today. It's not gonna show that much. Let's let's go la this month, and then hit analyze. 
So you can see they have some pre-selected um, times here, so you don't have to mess with anything. Um, look at that. It tells you the sales from last month, um, the biggest day from last month, um, how many unique products sold. Um, oh, this is neat. The 80-20 rule. Uh, just so many data points. Again, standard still last last month standard sold more than anything else um, and black again still my top seller um, and here by sales you can see again which which design was your top seller last year or last last month and speaking of last year we could go to last year um, it's not one of the pre-selected tabs or predefined tabs but if you click on this here by selected date Let's go back and let's say we want to start designing for June or June of this year, but we want to look at the information from June of last year to get an idea what's sold. So we can click on, whoops, one, two, oops, I did that wrong. Let's do this again. All right, June 1st to the 30th. Good. Um, and there, June 1st to the 30th. Um, and then hit analyze again. It's going to take a little while because it's going back. So you can see analytics for June 2018, 30 days. Um, again, you can see all the sales every day, um, total sales, which is nice. Um, average. Again, sold a lot more standard shirts, more men's shirts for me. And then this, this is what's interesting right here. You can see your top sellers. You can see your top sellers for... Um, last month here so or last year this in June so just looking at some of those titles um, and then let's see what what sold last year and use that information um, to design for this year so it's typically what sold last year will probably sell this year um, and use that so that's it that's that's some of the data you can use um, from last year I thought this was really neat it's kind of hidden here you may not know that to click on these dates, but you can. Uh, I think it's really cool that you can go back and see any month, uh, especially if you so you've been doing merch for over a year. You can see some of those um, data points from last year this time, which can help you for this year. That is it for this video, guys. I had to make this ending of my video a little later in the day and got a few more sales since this morning. Hope the information in this video was helpful for you. Just wanted to make a quick video to show you that using the data you already have can help you know what kinds of designs you should do as well as what type of product, fit types, and colors you should use. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment on what kind of data you use and what other types of videos you'd like to see to help you design and sell t-shirts online. Until next time, bye.